This is the story of a young decent girl whose name was Emily, who lived an average life. She was brought up and guided by her parents' love and important advice. Neon, who was a fashion designer, was a decently raised child from a disciplined home. Mothers wished he was their son and girls all over wanted to be with him. One beautiful day, Emily went over to Neon's shop for the first time to have a dress sewn. And on looking at her, Neon was awestruck and he couldn't stop staring at her. After the business conversation, he collected her contact, claiming to call her when her dress was done. So days went by and he couldn't stop thinking about her. Then he used the advantage of having her contact to keep in touch with her. They began to converse freely for a long time until finally he won her heart with the help of his friends who advised him on how to go about it. They always met in the evening at an agreed spot not too far from her house. Then one day, he invited her to his house and she came. They talked and had fun in the room and there they both succumbed to the temptation of having unprotected sex. Some weeks after the event, they couldn't talk to each other because they were both scared. She called to tell him that she missed her period. Then, Neon knew she was pregnant. Neon looked at his family background and he was confused and began to fall apart. He gave himself to alcohol and hard drugs. He slept one night and never woke up. He died, went down to abort the child from her womb, and so she did. Some years later, she was happily married to Mr. White but couldn't bear a child. It was now a problem to her and her husband. So they decided to go for a medical checkup and the doctor diagnosed that she was not able to conceive because she had no way. What a story. Now let me give you some of the side effects of you not being a virgin. That's the sexually transmitted disease. If a non-virgin does not involve herself in any sexual assault, she won't be found with any sexually transmitted disease or infection. Most youths do mistake love to lust. The teenagers do call it crush or infatuation. But you see, they all fall under the categories of lust. Lust do feel. Lust depend on the heart desires and loss is of the flesh. You have seen what happened to Emily and Ewan and how they ruined their lives. If you look at it from all perspective, this is what's happening in our society now. Lust and passion are all very pleasurable, yet dangerous. Giving in often clouds our judgment, running us blind to see the safer advantages of remaining chaste and living a carefree life. Issues such as STDs, unwanted pregnancies, and social degradations are very, very much avoided when one possesses a great deal of self-control over his sexual urges and desires. Therefore, you should stay new to promiscuity, encourage chastity, and promote a healthy clean life. Thank you.